Manhattan Beatty truly is a, uh, you know, is a hero. He was in the first African-American regiment formed in the state of Ohio, uh, which was the United States Colored Infantry, the 5th. Uh, he was also a sergeant uh, in that, which is the highest rank an African-American soldier could hold at that time. Specifically, he and three other sergeants from the 5th uh, were on the field at uh, a battle known as either Chapin's Farm or New Market Heights. It, it goes by both names. So the lieutenants and colonels were white. Many of them were already taken out of action by the Confederates, and so Beatty, along with three of the other sergeants, continued to lead. Though they were injured, uh, you know, they mustered their men and, and bravely uh, continued to charge and, and showing that, you know, just what, what we would call today conspicuous valor. And for that, he was a recipient of the Medal of Honor. The uh, Union Baptist Cemetery is, is a wonderful gem, getting ready to celebrate its 150th anniversary. Through the research that my students and I had, had done really starting about 10 years ago, we, we came to know there are somewhere between 120 and 150 uh, African-American Civil War soldiers buried in the cemetery. There are two markers there. One is an Ohio historical marker, uh, which my students actually wrote the text for, and the other is a marker recognizing the uh, Civil War soldiers. I think that's, that's something that the community should be immensely proud of. Starting in 1863, after the Emancipation Proclamation was issued, Massachusetts took one of the lead roles. Massachusetts knew that they did not have enough men in their own state to fill their regiments, so they came to Pennsylvania and especially Ohio. And 500 men uh, served in those Massachusetts regiments from Ohio. And it's interesting to note that both Charles Goff and Leander Howard were injured at the famous charge or assault on Battery Wagner that was, that was made famous in the movie Glory. One of the most rewarding things is to get my students actively involved in the community, you know, working as advocates and preservationists. And, and I always like to say that they may not remember all the names and dates that they've learned, but they will absolutely remember the experience of working on that. You know, there's a real sense of ownership, and, and I think that will stay with my students long after they will have possibly forgotten lots of the things you know, that, that I probably tried to teach them about the American Civil War.